Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a 2v2 Iron Man. It's going to be for $60 per team, so the winning team will win 60 and the losing team is going to lose 60. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description, if you want to play in any of these future Iron Mans. And we have Chicken Wing on Team 1 versus Moroccan Nation on Team 2. And let's go ahead and hop right in. So we're going to see Moroccan Nation win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they're going to decide to go first. 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Diameter, Bell, Subtraction, Microcoder, and DD Crow. So we have Math Mech, um, Plain Microcoder. They have Math Mech Sigma, Small World, Circular, Parallel, Ash. We got a Math Mech Mirror. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, activate Circular, Dump Sigma, Special Summon Out. I mean, this card is crazy. Circular is actually very good. Um, Sigma Effect, Chain DD Crow, Normal Summon Sigma. And then Circular Effect, Go Search for Super Fractoral. And then Overlay for Albert. Uh, Albert Effect, Detach 2, Go Search for a Math Mech card. I was going to grab Diameter. And then effect tribute the special summon out diameter from hand. You want to get this card in rotation so that way the XYZ you make on their turn has a negate. And then go for Lingaribo. Uh, activate parallel on that summon. Uh, so special summon itself out from hand. And then parallels on field effect to summon out parallel. Um, up next, we're going to go for Cyber's Wicked. And then go for Heat Soul. Okay, and then Heat Soul will allow us to draw. I'm trying to, like, uh, I don't know their extra deck exactly, but if they do play the Link Disciple, that might have been able to have been made there, right? Um, so that way you could trigger the Cyber's Wicked to search for diameter. Heat Soul, pay a thousand draw, uh, draws into circular. Okay, got follow up. Uh, small world, unless we just get rid of circular, which would be fair to go grab another interruption. We're gonna go circular in the Veiler. These match up through being only light, and then these match up through only having zero attack. All right, I think I pointed out the wrong one, but Ash and all, all, all both of these would work with this because these all just have zero attack, and that's a and then set super fractoral, pass, draw bell. Bell's pretty good versus super fractoral. They're gonna go heat soul draw. Heat soul draws into a ash blossom. And then subtraction, make heat soul lose a thousand attack and special summon out from the hand. And then activate super fractoral, chain bell. Yeah, it's very good. Normal summon out diameter. Then overlay for Albert. Albert effect attached to go search. They do have a negate under this. They're going to try to ash. They're going to chain. Negate the ash blossom. Go search circular. And then special summon out circular by dumping sigma. Sigma effect special summon back out from the graveyard. And then activate the circular effect to go search. Now this can go search for the super fractoral. Uh, could also search for Equation, which is just the Monster Reborn, but it doesn't seem like they need it here. They got a lot. They also have the Microcoder in hand still. Uh, Splash Mage Effect, Summon Back Out from Grave. And we're going to see Moroccan Nation admit defeat there. Um, Couldn't they have belled the Splash Mage... And then from what they know, they were still in it. I guess they just lose anyways, because they have Ash plus the top deck. Super Fractoral is going to rip a card from hand, plus they have a negate. And they're going to have at least follow-up in that scenario at the minimum. Because they would be able to go into Heat Soul there and draw two. And, like, draw two cards means follow-up. So going into the next game now, we're going to see Moroccan Nation go first again. Opening hands, we have Addition, Parallel, Bell, Desire, Sign and Mining. They have Small World, Nib, Circular, Imperm, and Nib. Okay, so start off with Circular, Dump Sigma, Summon Out, Sigma Effects, Summon Itself Back Out from Graveyard. Also, I have a lot of these Iron Mans coming, 
I have this one, I have another one, and then I should have another one. I don't know if they're all going to get uploaded, because they might not be good enough. But there's three I'm going to be going over, like, right now. I mean, th this is one of them. Uh, circular effect, go search, grab super factorial. Also, everyone keeps saying I say this wrong. There there's no way, right? Super, oh, because I say fractoral. So it's super factorial, not fractoral, factorial. It's like the same thing. Overlay, we're gonna go for Albert, and then Albert effect, detach, go search, grab diameter, summon diameter, diameter effect, bring out circular, and then link those off, go into Cybers Wicked, Albert effect, tribute, summon back out diameter, uh, Cybers Wicked effect, banish, and go search. They're just holding bell for the super factorial Search diameter for follow-up, go into heat soul, heat soul effect to draw. See, it draws into a veiler. Okay, it's another interruption. Um, we could be using, I think we just use nib, right? Well, I guess it depends what they're trying to search, because you can't just, like, reveal nib, search anything. So, nib in the veiler, lights, veiler in the ash, zero attack. I mean, we have a lot of interruptions. We have an imperm, a veiler a super factorial, a nib, and an ash. And that's only counting super factorial as one. Heat soul also is gonna get us a draw. I guess this is, uh, this really will just be getting one because it trades with Bell, so it's just a one for one. I mean, it was a free card though, so. We'll use a free card to trade with one of our opponent's cards. Draw diameter, then sign a mining discard addition, chain ash blossom, activate desires, go banish and draw. So banish 10, we see two circular, um, a super factorial. This could be the only one in their deck due to them going second and siding out the second one. I've seen a lot of people right now playing two of this. Also small world, um, this is a card that's you know, becoming more popular in this deck. You really wanna draw circular, circular is really good. It can also get you, it can get you starter, extender, Hand traps, it, it, it can get you pretty much anything in this deck, but you do have to understand like the cost of it. Like it's not that great of it. It's not just Rota, you have to like Rota minus one. Draws DD Crow Nib, Summon Diameter, Diameter Effect, Chain Super Factorial, Chain Bell, they just let that go through. Could have chained a Veiler or Imperm there, but the thing is, is like the discarded edition off sign up mining, they could very well have an extender if they have an extender. Then, like, stopping this isn't the greatest because they're going to go for Albert. Albert effect to go search, chain Imperm on it, chain this to negate because they had diameter under it. They could veil or decides not to. They're going to go search for circular. Then summon out circular by dumping Sigma. I mean, like, I don't know. What if they just, like, didn't search circular there? What if they just searched the purple card? The super factorial, and then they just like keep playing anyways. If you assume that they had an extender, summon out sigma, circular effect, veiler on circular, and then get rid of circular, go for disciple, special summon out parallel, parallel effects, summon out parallel from deck, and then activate nib. So we're just going to boop, tribute the whole field, summon over a token. This gets banished, usually it's overlaid with, which is why it always goes to grave. Pass, draw imperm, and then main phase, summon diameter, diameter effect, targeting what in graveyard exactly they're going to ask, targeting circular. Let's say go through, if they try to stop it, you know, sigma can summon itself out as a level 4, and they're going to keep going. So they're going to summon out circular, uh, sigma effect summon out. And then overlay those, go for Albert, Albert effect, attach to, go search for a math mech card. And then that grabs the super factorial. That means no matter what, they're going to try to go for game. If they get hit by like double hand trap, it's fine because they still have super factorial to out their top deck plus the nib. Uh, Albert tribute the monsters, summon back out, and then make splash mage. Splash mage effect, they're going to ask targeting graveyard. Targeting diameter, that's fine. And then use those to make transcode. 
transcode effect targeting heat soul chain dd crow on heat soul and then they're going to chain albert effect to try to negate dd crow in response chain nib so tribute summon out um now unless i'm mistaken dd crow should still be negated once per turn during the turn's card special summon okay it does negate doesn't need to like stay on field this does have to special summon to a zone it points to so like the heat soul is not coming out anyway so it's not like a big difference but heat soul heat soul should be engraved as they did negate the dd crow uh draw subtraction activate super factorial they admit defeat going on to game three now we're gonna go ahead and see chicken wing go first opening hands we have nib diameter bell ash circular circular plus diameter is a pretty good combo they have addition ogre subtraction bell and addition so main phase, activate circular, circular, go dumb sigma, special summon out, sigma effect to summon itself out from graveyard, circular effect to go search for super factorial. And then we can overlay, make Albert, Albert effect, detach to go search for a math med card, and then that's gonna search for addition, normal summon diameter, diameter effect, summon back out from graveyard, bring out circular, now use diameter, make disciple, and then use circular to make devote, you know, devote effect, chain ogre, oh, said on some sec, yeah, they're probably just going to be like, oh, you, like, you got to declare, yeah, so effect, chain ogre on it, and that's fine, we're now going to use those, make splash mage, and then splash mage effect, Summon back out from graveyard. So bring out the Albert. Then we're gonna set super factorial. Um, we can't go into Heat Soul because Devote locks us from Link Summoning Link Three or higher, which really sucks. Like I don't know how I feel about Devote Disciple. Um, I do think like overall they're pretty good, but they do shut you off from you know, one of your main end board type things. So we're just gonna end with this. Could have gone for IP if we wanted to, but we do have Super Factorial, Nib, Ash, Bell. So like, we should be good. And this also forces them to actually outer monsters. Pass, draw Ash Blossom, and then Subtraction Effect, Target Splash Mage, make it lose a thousand attack and summon from hand. And then activate Super Factorial on Res, Chain Bell, negate that. Seems like Bell is just like what has really been putting in a lot of work. Activate Addition on Subtraction, make it gang a thousand, summon from hand. Then overlay for Albert, Albert effect, Chain Ash Blossom, normal summon addition, battle phase, proceed to beat over both of those. And then main phase two, so it doesn't seem like they remembered the fact that subtraction made it lose a thousand attack so they should have actually taken 19 there go for splash mage splash mage effect said hold so on summon they're gonna activate nib this is their fifth summon i believe because it's addition subtraction normal summon addition albert splash mage yep so on summon activate nib you know they don't want to wait for them to summon back then drop nib just to give them a bigger token and we want to drop this before they make heat soul Draw Sigma, and then, yeah, just go main phase, Sigma graveyard effect, summon itself back out, and then addition effect, target nib, make a gang a thousand, and we're going to see them at defeat. So next is Toast. All right, so now we're going to have Chicken Wing on Math Mech versus Toast. Don't know what deck he's on. Um, I did talk to Toast not long ago, so he's been playing a lot of different decks in these Iron Mans. Well, we're going to see Chicken win, win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, and decide to go first, 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Diameter, Parallel, Desires, DD Crow, Diameter. They have Mayonnaise, Bell, Poly, Miru, and Instant Fusion. So we're going to see Tier Element versus Math Mech. They're going to activate Desires as they're starting play to go draw. So Banish 10 draws into the third Diameter and assign a Monion. We see Microcoders banished. Like... We still haven't really got to see what they're trying to do with this yet. You know, it's not going to be anything too crazy. We've seen Microcoder stuff in Salad before, but I still just want to see them do it. 
So they're gonna activate sign and mining, discard diameter, go search. So go grab circular. Just activate circular, you know, go dump sigma. Summon out sigma effect, bring itself out. And then circular effect to go search. And it's gonna grab the super factorial. Normal summon diameter, diameter effect, summon from grave. And then we can overlay. Ooh, okay, we're gonna make this. Um, this is gonna be able to rip a card from our opponent's hand. And it's also a negate this turn. So we are going to rip, no way, we hit the instant fusion. That's like instant fusion and bell were like really good. I guess also hitting Miru is nice too, just because our opponent doesn't really have anything. So hitting Miru is good. I guess honestly, hitting any card in their hand was fine. Uh, hitting mayonnaise, you don't really want to do, but it would be okay because it can stop like a Rhino Heart play next turn. Uh, hitting Polly would be good. Bell. Go for Disciples. Summon out Parallel. What I see my like Rhino Heart plays, like if you mill Rhino Heart, you got like discard a tier element card, and this could have been the tier element card to discard. But if it's already engraved, then like you know it's gone. Parallel. Bring out Parallel. Uh, use those to make Splash Mage, Splash Mage effects, summon back out the Diameter. Then we will link into Heat Soul, Heat Soul effect, pay to draw. So we're going to pay a thousand, drawn to Desires. And then link off, make IP. We can set the Super Factorial and then pass turn. They draw Venus, and then draw phase, activate Heat Soul, pay a thousand, chain of Venus to try to summon itself out and mill three. So summon, mills three, completely misses, but we do see a couple things about their deck. So first, this is actually a lot of information for the Mathematic player. First of all, I see that the opponent is playing some type of hand traps. There are a lot of builds currently that do not play these type of cards. They just play like Dark Ruler, Droplet, like... I like the more hard going second cards like imperm does somewhat fall into that category i understand like some people would see it as that because it's a good six draw branded fusion you now see they're on branded cards i'm gonna assume they are just playing three branded fusion and one albaz i've done a lot of theorizing with a lot of different tier element decks and like i'm just gonna guess that's what they're on they could be on more though um and then desires which is you know, just desires. Let's say, like, a lot of people are playing that right now in this deck. I mean, it says draw two and has pretty much no cost because you play one mayonnaise. It's like, oh no, I banished mayonnaise. I'll go search for my other trap card. But they do draw super factorial off their heat soul. And then standby phase, main phase, activate the poly. In response, chain IP. So is this going to go for Appaloosa? And then they're going to use all three of their cards to make Guardian Chimera. And then Chain Links, Guardian Chimera 1, Miru 2, Aphenus 3, Appalooza 4, Didi Crow 5, Super Factorial 6. So we also know that they play two of these for sure. Especially because, like, you know, they play two Super Factorial. So, like, a little bit obvious, but at the same time, like should should be brought up that they probably just played two of it especially if they made a turn one yeah they're gonna summon so now they get the draw two and then pop one if they try to pop appalooza it's made with ip if they try to pop mathmic it has an effect that can protect itself so they try to pop appalooza and then mathmic effect not destroying that i'm just reading read ip i'm reading apo i didn't pop with chimera yet it doesn't matter it really doesn't. I mean, if you pop Appalooza, it's not popped. If you pop Mathmic, they detach to protect. Okay, so they're going to pop this. So they're going to attach to, you know, protect. And now they're going to use the effect detach to go hit their cards. So they're going to hit King of the Swamp and then Guardian Chimera. This doesn't target. Uh, normal Summon Out Rhino Heart effect. Now you could let the on-field effect go through and then just Appaloos the graveyard effect and that's their third tier element effect they would be activating this turn, so it kind of guarantees that they have nothing else. 
But they do just apple lose with the effect. I mean, like the last card in hand to punish there. I don't even know what it could be, right? Because like you still have diameter negate, so like you could negate the last card even if it is like a foolish burial to dump the last one. So beat over pass, draw Valor, standby phase, main phase, normal summon diameter, effect target circular. They still have a book of moon plus fusion, and a fusion summon can do a couple different things. They could go for Dragos to Paleo. They could go for a shuffle back. They're going to go mayonnaise, set diameter, dump Miru. Now let's see. Um, Miru could go for Kit. And then Kit could go for... Because they could go shuffle back Miru, shuffle back, like, I don't know, just King of the Swamp, something. Um, make Kit, Kit effect to dump. The dumped effect of the tier element to put back Huffinus, Rhino Warrior in itself. Summon effect spin back. Like, that's something that they can do. There you go, Miru effect. And it's going to put back itself. So, okay, so put back all three of those, bring out Kaleido Heart. And then they're going to try to use Kaleido Heart to spin back. Um, yeah, so it could have had Kit on board. Kit's pretty decent. Especially if, like, your opponent was to just, like, pass turn here. Like, Kit would be another body to start beating over things. Activate Desires. Desires go banish. And then draw, draws Valor and Microcoder. You can see Equation Banish. You see a lot of the deck lists. Assign a Conflict, which is go, you know, Microcoder goes into the standard stuff. Doesn't seem like they're playing a lot of small worlds either. Uh, Sigma, summon itself out. Because if we only see one in rotation, there's five cards left. It really would not surprise me if they're not playing three small worlds. I mean, they are playing Signet Mining, which is just, like, a different version of Small World. If you have Ash, Crow, Bell, Reveal, and I'll scoop. Reveal is the Super Fractoral, and they still scoop. Okay. So, going on to the next game now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Toast be going first. Opening hands, we have Valor, Signet Mining, Crow, Circular, Subtraction. They have Bell, Shea, Shea, Desires, Judgment, and then Realm. Activate Realm, go search Rhino Heart, and then summon Rhino Heart. Effect, that goes through because they're going to uh, allow Hafinus to be dumped. Hafinus effect, Chain Crow, Activate Desires. I was going to say maybe they were going to Crow. They could have also tried to Valor the Fusion. Could be playing into the opponent's mind games, though. Well, mind games into their tricks because they can summon Kit. Kit chain like one, realm chain like two, car target kit. If you chain Valor, target like cool, you negate it, but they still mill five and they're still gonna end up getting something. So desires to go banish and draw. We see these go. We see like the Fawn of Alabaz, Brain of Fusion. I'm gonna guess that package is dead and they only played one Fawn of Alabaz. Could be wrong. Draw Miru, King of the Swamp. Like two, two Fawn of Alabaz isn't bad. It's just, I think the people that are playing like branded opening. And they're really trying to play like a big branded package. They're not trying to play uh, like I don't know, like pure two element cards just play through stuff very well. So I think I think these cards are very solid. Mill three, hit Shea. So now we can use Miru and Shea if we want. So the big thing, give me a second. But like the biggest downside to these cards is that you're locked in the fusion, so you can't make redoer. And redoer is so good. It's actually insane how good Redoer is. So put back, summon out the Millennium Eyes, put back Miru, and then, um, oh, let's see, we gotta put one back for this. And summon out Kit, Kit effect to go search. We're gonna search Mayonnaise and then set and pass. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Um, I might look at this board and be like, this isn't that good. But Millennium Eyes is kind of tough for a lot of decks to deal with. Um, just like being able to like snatch steel up is nice. They have Judgment. They have Book of Moon into a Fusion Summon, which is an interruption. With Realm, which is a pop. And then they have Bell. 
So a lot of those interruptions do come from mayonnaise, like three of them. Draw equation. So draw phase, standby phase, main phase, sign it mining, get rid of the effect veiler, and then go search for diameter. Activate circular. You may wonder why they sign it mining first, probably trying to bait out like an ash blossom or something. Dumb sigma, summon out. And then Sigma effect in response, they're gonna chain book a moon on circular. So set that, Sigma comes out. Oh, well they, you know, they dump mirror, Sigma comes out. And the new chain link, mirror effect, to shuffle back and fusion. So put back mirror, and then put back all of those, make Kaleido heart, and now they're gonna activate Kaleido heart, chain link one on circular, field spell, chain link two on Sigma. Millennium, this to deck. It has Kaleido Heart that the deck. Um, if also if they wanted to, it's a little bit more risky. They could have Realm popped Kaleido instead of popping the opponent's card, and then like leave them with the set circular. It's not going to do anything, and then you can get Kaleido to dump and summon out, and then you can get the graveyard effect of whatever you dump to fusion. But I guess in this scenario, you don't really want an extra fusion because you don't have any extra materials. Activate subtraction, but it's also the riskier play. Uh, make this lose a thousand, so dropping it down to 25, it's gaining 500 from this. Beat over the Millennium Eyes. Main phase two, Disciple. And then normal summon diameter. Diameter effect, summon back from Grave. They let that go. Overlay for Albert. Do you judgment this? They're gonna let the search go through, okay. So go search for circular, and then special summon out circular, but it, as I say, it's already used. It's like the first thing we did. Well, not the first thing. We signed them on and searched for our diameter, and then circular, dump sigma, special. So confused. I think they just searched those because they forgot. That has to be the reason, right? Tribute, summon. Unless if this is what they want. Um, but I feel like it could end up being the same thing if we just searched like a super factorial in the first place, but also playing around the other things. Activate equation, chain bell, and then we're going to Albert to negate. So bring out diameter, circular effect to search. So we didn't really need the bell, right? Kind of just played another free negate. Grab super factorial. And then turn those into Splash Mage. Splash Mage effects, summon back out circular. And then use those to make Heat Soul, Judgment, the summon of that. Set Super Factorial, pass. Oh my god, you can't just draw a bell like that. Toast, you can't do it to him like that. Come on. Activate, Chain Bell. Yup, going into the next game. Like, it's not like they needed the top deck bell. It's just super super free going into the next game we got desires edition ash ibli diameter they have rhino heart Hafina's king of the swamp shay and branded fusion depending on how this ibli goes this could be very good depending on how everything goes because ibli could very well just act as like you know game floodgate Draw sign of conflict and ash blossom. Banish this warlords. That's something that they can side in. It's like they're all just machines. Normal summon it. Not machines. Oh my gosh. They're all cybers. <laughs> Math mech, machine, bull star with M. My bad. Definitely cybers. That's why you can play stuff like Ibli. And also, you can play good stuff like. Well, not good stuff, but a card like sign of conflict. You play other good stuff like sign of mining. Ibli pass over. This only can activate when your opponent activates a monster on the field. Even if you could activate it in response to this, you would just summon mill three, new chain link, you can't do anything. Special summon out addition. And then link those off, go into splash mage. And then splash mage effect, just summon back out from the graveyard. Okay. And then after that, we will turn those into Heat Soul. Set, end phase, Heat Soul, draw. C 
could have done that during the main phase. You know, what if we draw Warlords or Super Factorial? Or we draw Circular? So that felt a little bit weird. Pass, draw Bell. Activate the King of the Swamp. That goes through. Go search Poly. And then Heat Soul Effect. Pay a thousand, draw. Draws in the Bell. Normal summon Rhino Heart. They're gonna use Rhino Heart effect? Okay, no they're not going to. I'm gonna say, like it doesn't even do anything. Like we're just dumping a tier element monster and making our monsters worse in the future. Like all of our RNG in the future is just down more. Make dark, so that way we can actually do stuff. Poly, chain sign of conflict. And then activate Shea. Chain Ash Blossom. We can't Branded Fusion, because we linked. We can't Shea, we already did it. Bell doesn't do anything. Hot Venus doesn't have an effect until our opponent starts playing. Maybe we're thinking about going Battle Phase and Crashing and allowing us to search. But we have already used our Normal Summon. So I'm not quite sure what else they're planning on searching here. But this might just be a pass. Yeah, it's like they could Dark Summon back out Ibli. But, like, you kind of just put yourself in the same scenario that you don't want. Like, you're locked in the links. They might not play a unicorn. Unicorn could have been used out Heat Soul. But I guess it's, like, not that great. But it does get the the big body off for you. You know, the, the link three. Draw Ibli. Heat Soul draw. It's not also that. It's also a free draw. Uh, chain of Phoenix, Chain Ash Blossom. Oh, we draw on the D Barrier. Oh, that just means our opponent's not playing next turn. We can lock them out of Fusions, which is their whole deck. Dumb Sigma. This card isn't that popular right now because a lot of people, like, you need your deck to be prepared for a range of matchups, and you can't really focus on one matchup for a lot of decks. Diameter effects, summon back out addition. And then overlay for Albert. So now we have a negate set up through diameter. Albert effect. Detach the two to go search for a math mech card. Grab addition. And then special summon out addition by making Albert gain a thousand attack. Use those to make update jammer. And then go in the access code. Access code effect to gain attack. You can also attack multiple times because update jammer. So that will be game. Unless if. This is like somehow really messed up. Yeah, target Heat Soul to gain attack. Battle phase, attack, and then attack directly. Said GG question mark. Yep, GG's. Okay, so we are going to end up seeing Chicken Wing win both of their matches there. And Toast, and I'm not going to lie, I forget the other name. But they are going to end up losing there. Math Mech wins, seeing how long that last match was. It was only about 33 minutes long. Not too bad, especially for an Iron Man. And with that being said, we are going to be having more and more Iron Mans posted as we get closer to the actual release of post Pode. Players are getting way more comfortable playing with it. We have the Coliseum doing Iron Mans. We have Dragon Riders Games doing Iron Mans now. So, like, more Iron Mans. More people are comfortable post Pode. So, should expect to see a lot more of these. Also, please go check out my TCG player affiliate link. Link down below at the very top of the description. Because I just remembered I need to announce the giveaway winner. Which is on the... It's the same as every giveaway I do. Which I don't get why people comment it every time. It's, it's on the post where I do the giveaway. Like the video. The giveaway is in the comment section of that video. 72 hours after it's posted. So go check that out. If you think you're the winner. And have your notifications turned on. So that way if you win. You get a notification with me telling you that you win. Since 50% of giveaway winners on this channel. Don't claim their giveaways. And after 3 days of you winning the giveaway. If you do not claim it. Boom. You don't get prizes. Because I don't want to keep up with it. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.